Your retirement plan can be filled with investments you've had for a long time, but as you enter into retirement, you may need to rethink what to do with some of those investments. With us today, we have Jonathan McCoy, partner and lead advisor at Market Advisory Group, to explain why you need to adjust from that long-term strategy of buying and holding as you reach retirement age. So what exactly, Jonathan, is that buy and hold strategy and why is it risky? Well, very simply put, buy and hold is you hold on to an investment for a longer period of time and while you're contributing to that investment, maybe into a 401k, you've got a mutual fund that follows the stock market, something along those lines. It can be beneficial for investors during the accumulation phase of their lives, but during the distribution phase when you've retired and you need to start pulling income from that account, what happens when the market drops by these you know, 10 to 15 to 20 percent plus corrections like we're going through now, are you able to sustain that stream of income from that investment? And, and the risk there is you run a much larger risk of running out of money, uh, especially during a downturn if you need to keep pulling money out at those low points. Which of course is something we all want to avoid. Correct, yes. And so what exactly is a loaded fund and how does it limit your ability to adjust your risk when it comes to these tough times? So loaded funds are designed to be buy and hold styles of investments and the load indicates that a broker or a financial advisor has received some sort of commission payment up front, usually somewhere between three to eight percent of whatever your initial investment amount was. So that load and, and the custodians that hold onto these funds for you will tell those advisors they're not allowed to resell addition, addition, additional funds in your account for a certain period of time. So if you buy a loaded fund right before a market correction, your broker or your advisor can be sort of handcuffed in his ability to get you out of harm's way. And of course, you're aware our viewers have actually been calling in with questions, mm -hmm. including this one right here from Angela F. She wants to know when she should take out her Social Security retirement benefits. So Angela says, I am planning on retiring at 62 and will turn 62 in December. I am working part time now, but from what my Social Security statement shows, I'm bringing home about what my benefit will be if I elect to file retirement benefits, but continue working part time. What limitations do I have? Do they still take Social Security out of my paychecks? Yes, yeah, so a couple of questions there to answer, and, and we could certainly go much deeper in a one-on-one -on -one consultation with Angela. Uh, but ultimately, with con uh, Social Security benefits filing prior to your full retirement age, there is an income restriction. Now, those restrictions go up a little bit each year, but this year it's just a little over $19,000 for the entire year worth of earned income. And if you do continue working part-time and have some earned income, they will continue pulling Social Security tax out of your paycheck, even if you're getting a Social Security payment each month. Thanks so much for the information, Jonathan. And if you do have retirement questions you need answered, you can submit those to Market Advisory Group. They'll be answered on air, possibly. Call 816-548-2000 or visit askouradvisor.com. If you include your address, Market Advisory Group will send you a free gift. Alina. I might just do that then.